In about 8 billion years, the Sun, already having expanded into a red giant, destroying most of the inner planets of the solar system, will lose its outer layers and become a white dwarf. A white dwarf is, essentially, the hyperdense core of a star too small to become a neutron star or a black hole. They're about the size of Earth in radius, but have masses similar to the Sun, making them very dense and very dim. It's what all stars like the Sun will eventually become when they run out of fuel and reach the end of their lives. However, when the star dies, their planets often survive. In the case of the Sun, Mercury and Venus definitely won't, as they'll be swallowed by the red giant Sun. Earth and the Moon's fates are uncertain, and they might either get destroyed shortly after Venus, or survive the red giant phase entirely. Everything past Mars will almost certainly survive long after the Sun becomes a white dwarf. This is true for other systems as well, and we have discovered planets around these dead stars. I have a full episode about them in my Halcyonic System series. Planets like the gas giant WD1202-232b, which was imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope, or the gigantic Aura. Aura is the only white dwarf planet with an official name, and is so far away from its star that if it were put in the solar system, its orbit would take it out to the inner Oort cloud. There have also been extremely small objects around white dwarfs discovered, like WD1145 plus 017b, which is estimated to be around the size of Haumea, or smaller than Pluto, making it the first exo-dwarf planet ever found. That object orbits within an asteroid belt being vaporized by their star, and it's actively evaporating. So, white dwarf planets are clearly very extreme. They go all the way from small, hot rocks being vaporized by the light of a dead star, all the way to super Jovian planets like Aura, so far away from their stars they might as well not have one at all. But so far, we've only found those two extremes, small asteroids and dwarf planets, or massive gas giants. That is, until now, because a new white dwarf system was just confirmed to exist, with an Earth-sized planet inside it. This is KMT 2020 BLG 0414L, a white dwarf somewhere around 4,000 light years away from Earth. Very little is known about it due to its large distance, but we know it's a white dwarf and about half the mass of the Sun. It was discovered recently in 2020 when it passed in front of another star, where its gravity caused the light from the star to slightly bend. Telescopes were able to see the slight change in the light and figure out what caused it. This is called microlensing, and we found both stars and planets by doing it. The star is such a long name for a few reasons. It was discovered by the KMT Net Telescope in 2020, where the KMT 2020 comes from, and the rest says it was discovered by microlensing. But for a while, we didn't even know it was a white dwarf, just that some star half the mass of the sun passed in front of some other star. But additional observations were able to confirm it was a white dwarf and not a normal star. However, even more was able to be found out about the system just from the single microlensing event. Due to some irregularities in the transit, we were able to tell this object was not alone. Not one, but two objects were confirmed to orbit around it. The outermost of which was KMT 2020 BLG 0414 LC, a brown dwarf about 30 times more massive than Jupiter, orbiting at about 20 astronomical units away from the star, similar to the distance Uranus orbits the Sun. There's also a small chance that we got the number wrong and it actually orbits just 0.2 AU away from its star, but this is very unlikely. But the second object was much more interesting. KMT 2020 BLG 0414 LB. An object orbiting its star at about 2 AU, a little over double the distance Earth orbits the Sun, or a bit further out than Mars. It was also found to be about two times more massive than Earth, making it almost certainly a rocky planet. But most interestingly, when these two worlds were discovered, we didn't actually know that the star was a white dwarf. So, it was assumed that it was a main sequence star, the most common type of star. This meant that KMT 2020 BLG 0414 LB was probably a cold, rocky planet, one of the very few we know of. Some people speculate that it could even be a much bigger version of Saturn's moon Titan, as it could potentially have the correct temperatures for that. But all of that just changed, because we figured out that its star was not a main sequence red dwarf, but a white dwarf. So, in this case, the planet was discovered before we even knew what the star was, which is somewhat counterintuitive. In short, we've known this planet has existed for a few years, but we only just now figured out it was orbiting a white dwarf. So, all the speculations about this Earth-sized planet being a super titan have been thrown completely out the window. Now, we know that this planet likely survived the red giant phase of its star, which makes for some very interesting possibilities. This planet is essentially exactly what we expect Earth to be like in about 8 or 9 billion years. Assuming it isn't destroyed by the Sun, which is a strong possibility, it will eventually be left to orbit the white dwarf Sun, which is exactly what we see with this planet. So, what could KMT 2020 BLG 0414 LB actually be like? So far, we have no idea. All we know is that it exists and it's about two Earth masses. However, based on what we know about stellar evolution and the processes of other more well-studied planets, we can make some pretty good guesses. 
The white dwarf is currently about half the mass of the sun, meaning when it was in the main sequence, it might have been very similar to the sun in size. With higher gravity, that means that the orbits of B and C must have been much smaller, which might have even put B in the habitable zone, where temperatures are right for liquid water to exist. There's a possibility, though not confirmed, that this planet used to be an Earth-like world in the habitable zone of its star, which only makes it more interesting. I should also clarify that just because an object was in the habitable zone, that doesn't automatically make it habitable. This world could have been similar to Earth, but just as easily have been similar to Mars or Venus or the Moon, or some environment we don't have in the solar system. Assuming its star expanded to a similar size we expect the sun to be, then this planet was likely fully melted when its star became a red giant. If it had any oceans or mountains or continents, they were all destroyed as the heat increased, and it's likely that this planet spent a lot of time covered in a global lava ocean, similar to what we expect with Mars, which I'll talk about in next week's video, The Far Future of Mars. This likely destroyed all previous features of the planet, erasing its history forever. After its star became a white dwarf, it probably began to cool down very fast, the surface solidifying into a new rocky crust. But due to the intense heat it received from the red giant phase, strong residual volcanic activity might remain. Its atmosphere might be long gone, again due to the red giant phase, but it could be getting replenished by volcanic activity if it's happening. If this is true, then the surface is probably dominated by volcanic features similar to Venus or Io. However, all of this is assuming that this planet has always been rocky. There's a chance that's not true. Depending on how close it was to the red giant and how much heat it received, which we really don't know, there's a chance this planet used to be much bigger. There's a possibility that it might have even used to be an ice giant like Neptune, before the red giant phase stripped its atmosphere and mantle and left only the rocky core behind. This is pretty unlikely, but very much possible. And if this planet is the remains of a dead ice giant, then we really have no idea what it could possibly be like. We have very few examples of exposed planetary cores and know next to nothing about their properties. So, two possibilities exist for KMT 2020 BLG 0414 LB. One, it has always been a rocky planet, and so is possibly currently airless with lots of volcanic activity. Just be aware that that's all speculation, and there's no direct evidence for that. Or, it used to be an ice giant, had most of its mass blasted away, and is now an exposed core with an unknown environment. Right now, we don't know what it could be, and since it always being rocky is more likely, that's how I've been portraying it in the video. And if it has always been rocky, then the chance does exist that it used to be habitable. This wasn't just another tightly locked planet orbiting a red dwarf with super flares. It was a roughly Earth-sized world orbiting what used to be a sun-like star, likely in or somewhere near the habitable zone. Obviously, we have no idea if it was ever habitable. For all we know is an ice giant. But maybe, just maybe, this used to be an Earth-like planet, with oceans and continents and an atmosphere. Being twice as massive as Earth does lead to some complications, but it's no worse of a chance than the other potentially habitable exoplanets we've found. To be fair though, none of the potentially habitable planets are good candidates for life, which I talk about in other videos. But we simply have no idea what this planet is currently like, or what it was like in the past. All we can say is that it was a potentially Earth-like world that we were born a few billion years too late to see. But this world is likely a glimpse into what Earth will turn into in the future a small, rocky world orbiting a dead star for trillions of years to come. Hopefully we can find out more about it, or at least find more Earth-sized white dwarf planets soon. Earth will likely share the same fate as these white dwarf planets if we don't do something about it. And there are ways we can save Earth from the red giant sun using known science, no new physics needed. This will be the topic of Preventing the Death of the Solar System, a video that will hopefully come out in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about space and space colonization.